Good morning, YouTube. It is January 5th, the fifth day of the new year. Just filled the wood stove. I have to do some calf chores now because the person that normally does them is not here. He had to go somewhere this morning. So I'm just seeing what I have to do. I have to feed milk in the calf hutches here. Um, I'm just counting, see how much I need. So he's got nine calves in the hutches. I've got to go mix up nine milk. Check out his chores, make sure everyone's okay. So let's go. I'd be willing to bet money I forget about that up there. Turn the water on. We've got an instant hot water heater there and it runs over to this inductor. Just your typical like spray inductor. And then we can measure how much water we get. And then we just flip this valve open and it goes down into the bucket full of milk powder. Hey, will you be my friend? Yeah, you're my friend. He's young and he probably just doesn't know any better. So what we are going to do now, I've got chores done. We have to go hook Dad's pickup, this pickup, onto one of the cattle trailers, the big one. He said that we're taking some cattle to the slaughterhouse. The guy wanted us to buy some. So we're going to load up a load and take them. <laughs> Well, like I said earlier, um, if we actually did bet money, you guys would have gotten some because I forgot about my coffee. Well, it sat there long enough. It was cold, and I don't do cold coffee. That's gross. So I had to ditch it. Oh, well. Mostly fat heifers, colored heifers. How many were there? Nine. Or about, about nine or ten. So he's going up to Cass City, which is about an hour away. The stockyards, they pay a little more up there. And then Justin, Nate, and I are going to go finish the new brakes on that trailer that we were working on yesterday. So here's what we're doing to this truck, this trailer, I mean. We're doing all new brakes on the down axles. So that's what it's supposed to look like. This is all put together. The new pads are in here, new drums. And this is what it looks like currently, the other three. So we have to go through and put it all together. We have all the parts, except for we need some little pins to go through the slack adjusters. Did you find it? You can find them. I don't know. I looked. I didn't see any. Mission successful. What? I didn't look that hard. So Nate's outside washing. Better him than me. So Nate and I switched. I'm gonna go ahead and grease the mixer wagon here because he knows what he's doing on that truck. If I knew what I was doing, I could do it, but I don't really know. So I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'll get back in there and help them. I just got it all greased. So I just got it all greased up and I need to go get some depth though. 
Right at the red, we got it tucked in the shed right here though. The truck is out of the shed, so it'll never mind. The gator's sitting right in the way. Ice spinning. So we've got Nate on a schedule now that he washes the feed wagon and tractor here. The first week of every month and he also normally greases it but I greased it this time. And I'm just going to take it out to the barn and park it. It's full for tonight's chores. Oh hey would you look at that. Nice Hineker row crop cultivator right there. It's for sale still. It, if you're seeing this, I think it's a sign. Well, what do we have here? Looks like some idiot was doing donuts out here in the snow. Like a four-wheeler or something, maybe. I wonder who would do that. Ooh, the driveway's a little slick. Nice and icy. Get a four-wheeler out here. Whip some donuts. Sure is fun. Wait, did I just incriminate myself? It kind of feels that way. Are they done yet? Nope. Out of juice. Are you certified to do that? No. trying to cut some stuff off of the truck the trailer here but the torch this this valve up here is stuck open so it just it's not working luckily we have another torch we're gonna take the handle off of that one put it on this one and hopefully that one works <laughs> the shaft out of the slack adjuster or get the slack adjuster off the shaft so we just had to cut it this is junk anyways replacing it but we just cut it and now we can pound this out hopefully okay folks so we're just coming back out after lunch we are going to hopefully finish up them brakes on that trailer and get that out of the shop so we can get something else in.
Is the trailer peeing? Yeah, I think it is. This one wasn't full of air, you see? Yeah, apparently not. It's by gallons of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint these two glad hands. This one needs to be green and this one needs to be black. The reason we paint them is so that it's easy to hook up, hook up to the truck because the truck glad hands are painted the same color so you just take the green one put it on the green one on the trailer, the red one, red one to the trailer. It uh, saves time quicker, much easier. You don't have to think so much about it. Big Red, your first day back and you're already getting in the way. That was a close one. Who needs mirrors though? Window up, brake set, shut her down. Alrighty, so now we are going to go back and spread some beet pulp that we've got piled in our field. Grandpa's getting ready to leave with that spreader right behind me. I actually leaves it right now. And then Justin's up the road a little bit with the other spreader already. I'm gonna load uh, I haven't done this job in a, since last year. You know, when I say that, it doesn't sound like that long, but I don't normally load. Nate normally loads and I spread, but oh well. I think there's only a couple train loads back there, so it shouldn't take us too long, but you never really know. So I was wrong. There's only one load. As you can see, we just got a little bit left. I don't know, two bucketfuls maybe. Second spreader's right here. So I'll load this up and then we're gonna head home. Call her a day. Shut her down. So it's after five o'clock. I think it's like quarter after maybe. Maybe later than that. But we're gonna call it a day. 
I'm gonna fill the wood stove. So thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Whoa, what do we have here guys? Come here, look at this. We got some deer tracks. They're pretty fresh. I'd say about eight hours old. I'd say maybe uh, like a 5100 or something where you can follow them. You go all the way up there, wrap right around.